What's up everyone? This is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today I want to show you a handful of great electric guitars if you are just starting out on your guitar journey. Uh, these are some great guitars. We're not saying they're the best. They're fantastic options for you to look at. And they don't just represent the guitar, but the line of guitars or the manufacturers that build them. So hang around, check them out, and see what works best for you. The first one I have to show you is the one I have here in my lap. This is from Squire, which is Fender Guitars import brand. You've probably heard of Fender even if you're just starting out playing guitar. They've been building guitars since the 50s and one that is probably more famous than just about anything else is the Stratocaster. This is a Squire Stratocaster and a Bullet Squire Stratocaster to be specific. So this is kind of the starting line. It's about 125 bucks roughly for the guitar itself and it's a Stratocaster. You can get it in a few different colors. Um, 21, 22 frets, depending upon the model, three single coil pickups, five-way switch, volume two-tone controls, and a tremolo, or as some people call it, a whammy bar to give you some vibrato in the note. It's, it's a very functional, very versatile guitar. That's why it's hung around since 1954 and continues to be ever popular in the hands of musicians throughout the world. Uh, a few famous ones like Eric Clapton and Jimi Hendrix that you might have heard of and so forth. So um, for, with this guitar, what's great about it is you can get the guitar on its own, or you can buy it as part of a pack. So if you're just starting out and you don't have anything, a pack is a great option. And a number of manufacturers make those. Fender uh, in their Squire brand is probably the foremost pack manufacturer and seller, um, and they come with some great options. So in this guitar, you can get it with um, an amp and a cord and some picks, tuner, a bag, um, Actually, I don't think the tuner comes with it anymore because it's part of an app that they have for your smartphone. Uh, and you also get lessons now through the Fender Play uh, app or website. So that's gonna get you started kind of off on the right journey. And what's great is it sounds like a Strat. So we'll run through the sounds real quick. The five-way switch, starting from the first position, starts at the bridge pickup, and it gives you a combination of pickups or them on their own. So you go bridge, bridge and middle, middle, middle and neck, and neck. So moving from brighter, to warmer as you move from position one through position five. And what it gives you is a quintessential Strat sound. Uh, Strats are known to have kind of a quacky brightness about them that people really, really love for rock and blues especially. We're running this through a uh, Fender Champion 50XL, which is also a great amp um, if you are just starting out and you want something that's very versatile. It has everything from nice clean sounds to overdriven to full on distortion. It's even got an uh, octa octave in there as far as effects. You've got delay, reverb, a bunch of stuff in a really easy to use package. So we'll show you what we're talking about. This is with a little bit of overdrive on it, a little bit of spank, right? <laughs> really bright bridge pickup. If you switch it, you get this kind of skinnier sound in between, which the in-between sounds are what where strats really shine. So that's where you get the Or you can go middle position, which is really focused right here in that wavelength. This is one that Jimmy used a lot where you go Moving to that uh, you know, middle and neck warms it up, but again, it's a little skinnier, kind of nasally sound, almost like you have a wah pedal on, and it'll do the. You know, give you that nice, warm, kind of bluesy sound, and then the full on neck is great for something soft or something with a bit of spank on it, right? So you go. Right, or something. So it's a Stratocaster through and through, and it's a Stratocaster at under $200 or just about a little over $200 if you get the pack with the amp and everything that you need. So the Squire Bullet Strat, if you're starting out, it's really hard to beat for your first guitar. Okay, so our next guitar comes from Ibanez. Now, if you're not familiar with Ibanez, 
uh, or some will say Ibanez. Uh, it is a company from Japan that back in the 70s was making copies of guitars, notably uh, of Les Pauls, and they were really, really good. Now lawsuits ensued, they had to change the style of their guitar, uh, but their quality didn't go anywhere, and so they've been producing fantastic guitars uh, since the 70s. Now, uh, the guitars that they're most known for are something like this uh, RG, um, or what has become known as the Super Strat. So taking that double cutaway uh, kind of shape and design from the Fender Stratocaster that Leo Fender made back in the 50s, and modernizing it. So there's a few different ways of getting a guitar like this. This is the RG, they have S series, they have a bunch of different shapes. Um, but this one is one of my favorites right at $200, okay? You get some beautiful looks in a variety of colors with this quilted maple veneer on top, and you get a very versatile setup, similar to what we just saw on the Stratocaster, but now we have two humbucking pickups and a single coil in the middle. What this does is that in the bridge or in the neck position, you have a full-on humbucker, which is a fatter sound that's quieter than a single coil and works really, really well for music where you're having to get a bit more gain uh, or heavier, darker sounds out of the guitar. So that, along with this, the really nice setup and feel from Ibanez and the typically thinner necks and flatter radius, which means the curvature of the fingerboard, allows players to play faster with greater speed up and down the fingerboard. So these guitars tend to appeal to guys who play uh, really heavy kind of gent style music or they shred, they, you know, if you listen to a variety of bands where it's gonna have a lot of distortion, um, you know, you've probably seen them holding Ibanez guitars in their hands. Um, and it even goes into kind of prog and, and experimental stuff like the stuff uh, Tosin Abasi plays. He played a signature Ibanez for a number of years. So that's kind of where most of the guitars from Ibanez live, but they also have great sounding, uh, more kind of blues rock oriented guitars. They make some great arch tops. So a great company building some great guitars, and this is a really, really versatile option for $200. The other nice thing about this is you, this has now kind of pushed you out of pack territory. So if you're not buying a pack and you want a guitar like this, but you don't have anything, that's where we build you a pack. Maybe it includes an amp like the 50XL. So you can get those blues rock sounds like we just heard on the Strat. And we're gonna push it through here again on the five way switches, getting the humbuckers and the in-between sounds. So maybe you have a sound that's a little overdriven like that. So you should be able to hear that's already kind of gamier. There's more grit to it when I didn't change the amp at all. And that's because of the pickups that are in this. So you can get the. But this amp has the distortion, right? So if you're more into that. It'll do that as well. Then if we move up, it can get skinny like that strap because it has those in-between sounds. So similar to the number two position we just heard. Right? Middle position, still the single coil. You can hear the hum on it. And now it's a single coil, but it's hotter than the Strat. So, you know, you don't need to really spend a lot of time on specs if you listen or play some of these guitars because you can pretty quickly figure out what kind of music it's going for, right? Middle or going back to that fourth position, which is the middle and the neck. Can it do what the Strat did? It can, but a little bit more gainy, right? And then back to that first position. Ah, that's a lot gainier, right? And again, maybe a little bit more suited towards. or something like that. So, it's a beautiful guitar, comes in a bunch of finishes. There's sunburst, there's red, there's green, there's blue. If you wanna play the blues, it doesn't have to be blue. Uh, but a really, really great option. So, check this guitar out. 
Okay, now we're still in super strat territory from another manufacturer, and that is Jackson. Jackson's been making fantastic guitars for decades and is actually now part of Fender. Uh, this model uh, goes for about 260 bucks roughly, um, and it's a looker. Again, blue quilted top, uh, carved. It's got dual humbuckers instead of the three pickup uh, that we've seen so far. So it's got a three-way toggle instead of the five-way switch. What that gets you is either pickup or both. Single volume, single tone, and a 24 fret neck. So what that means is that you have a full two octaves on each note. Okay, so this is gonna give you a lot of room. It, it has a really thin neck, a really flat radius. Again, it's kind of even more in the vein of playing heavy and fast than the Ibanez we just saw. So could you play the blues on it? Yeah, you probably could. Yeah, it does it, but you know, where it's really happy is Again, back in that, try to fake my best metal. You know, you got that, that's your bridge pickup. It's got a real thick sound to it and a really thin neck. Now, for me, I'm not used to that. I tend to actually like chunky necks, so I don't know if this is a guitar I would pick. Again, that goes to why you should move beyond the specs and try to play these or understand why it's got a thin neck. For your style of playing, you'd probably prefer this or you might not. But it's a really great value. Um, and again, something that'd be fantastic if you already have an amp or you're building your first set. Um, you know, it's, it looks cool. Again, comes in a variety of colors, um, even has a natural flat finish. Um, really great option, so check it out. Oh, and the other thing that I should mention is it doesn't have a tremolo like we saw on the other two guitars. The strings are actually going through the body, and what that means is when I did a drop D, which it, where I detuned that E string uh, to bring it down, a lot of times you might tune down the guitar maybe all together or partially, um, and having that type of setup really helps your tuning stability. So definitely something to consider. Okay, so we're moving on up to one of my favorite guitars in a price that's under $500. And that is this Squire 50s Classic Vibe Telecaster. Now, I love this guitar, but I really want to just kind of give a shout out to this entire series from Squire. It sits at the top end of the Squire catalog, which means uh, it's one of the more expensive Squires you can get. It's $399 new, um, and they're just fantastic guitars. It really is like the Telecasters that were originally made back in the 50s, down to the pine body it has. A lot of people don't know because most Telecasters are either alder or ash, but those original like Esquires and Broadcasters were uh, the prototypes were, were, were pine. So um, it's got that great uh, black guard look with butterscotch blonde, um, maple neck, it's fantastic. But you can get a classic vibe, 50s, 60s, or 70s, which just recently came out, guitar from Stratocasters and Telecasters and so forth, uh, even basses, the entire line is fantastic. They feel really great. Um, and to, to illustrate this, um, you know, there's another great video that you, or, or channel you guys should probably be watching if you aren't, which is Anderton's. And they've done some great blindfold tests uh, handing Rob Chapman uh, guitars. And I'll, there's, there's a bunch of them where he's grabbed one of these and thought it was a high-end, like, custom shop Telecaster. So that's how good the fit and finish is on these and how great they sound. So it's a bargain at $400. Now that's probably the upper end of where a lot of you guys are planning on spending money, but know that it, so far out of all the ones we've played, it feels the best on the neck. And the pickups are fantastic. So you've got that quintessential Telecaster sound. <laughs> You know, that, that bridge pickup just says, 
I'm in the room, I'm here, I'm not going anywhere. It's this single coil that's got a lot of brightness, but it's got a lot of bass and it's just really, really present. But I think that the setup on a Tele is great because you have this really, really hot bridge single coil pickup and you have this not so hot, you know, really a lower output neck pickup that's also covered, just a smaller pickup altogether. And between the two of them and the in-between sound, you have three different personalities in the guitar. Check it out. So really cool. So check these out. If you don't like the butterscotch color, check out the 60s or the 70s version. Check out the Stratocasters. The entire classic vibe series is one of my favorites. I got my son one as a result. So I know you'll like them. Uno mas. One more. All right. So the Gibson SG, which was originally a Les Paul uh, back in the early 60s and then was rebranded the SG when the original Les Paul came back, um, has been available from Epiphone as the G400. And it's great. It's got that kind of menacing SG look. It's a set neck in this particular version. Um, and, and the Pro is nice because you've got Alnico uh, path style pickups, but you've got push-pull pots. So let me tell you what you're getting with this and why I like this and want to include this. Because we've shown some other guitars from Epiphone that I think are also great values like the Les Paul Studios. There's a studio version of this one. When you get to the Pro, which is at this point our most expensive guitar, it's just over $400, you get a very versatile guitar. You do still have dual humbucker setup just like we saw on the Jackson, okay? It's a toggle switch that'll give you either or both, but you also have push-pull pots. Now when you pull these, it's a coil split to give you a single coil sound out of either of those pickups. So if you're doing the math at home, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different sounds. I think I covered them all. Not to mention what you can do with the controls on the tone pots and so forth, or just turning the guitar down. Uh, it's nice and thin. And it's got a beautiful finish. It's available in a few different colors and it just looks awesome with the inlays and whatnot. And you've got that great kind of bark and bite you would get from an SG. <laughs> Let's turn that up a bit. All right, so we turn it up a little bit more on the gain because SGs really like gain. They've got a lot of bark, a lot of bike. They're rock machines, right? You put on that bridge pickup and you get a lot of snarl and a lot of brightness. <laughs> or you can move it to the neck pickup and get a lot of creaminess. And then you can play a wedding, right? When they get on the dance floor. You know what I'm talking about. If you're from a Latin community, you know what I'm talking about. All right. And then you can do the single coil taps, right? So. Kind of skinnies it up so you can go from. To. Or on the neck. And it's a cool, it's, it's a true split because you can hear it, listen. It's a 60 cycle hum. So really a great guitar and it feels fantastic. Fit and finish is great. There's no finish issues. There's no fret issues. It's a really, really, really well-made guitar for under 500 bucks. So definitely look at one of these, pair it with a nice uh, orange amp or something gainy. You've got a really awesome rock machine. The last one we have for you is a used guitar. So I just want to mention the merits of that. We sell used gear, people love used gear because it's always a good value, right? It's not always a good value. It's a good value if you get a good deal on a good guitar. So I would encourage you to look for used gear. Um, if you are just starting out, here are some tips. Buy from a store. That means you can take it back, okay? So if you buy used gear from us, you, there's a return period. 
so you can bring it back if it doesn't suit you or if there's a problem with it. Also, most stores, like us, check that stuff out before they sell it. So if you're buying it from us or from other, some other online dealer, check their return policy. They probably take it back and ask them if everything's okay with the guitar. You could also venture out on eBay or Reverb you know, or Craigslist, and you could buy off the internet from an individual, and I've had some good results doing that myself. Um, you could buy locally on Craigslist, but buyer beware, right? That is the warning that's standard with anything that's used, uh, particularly if it's an electric guitar that's used, because bad solder joints, all sorts of stuff can happen. Necks can twist, there can be bad frets, there can be a number of things. If you're just starting out, it's likely that you don't know what to look for. So again, that's why it's a good reason to probably buy from a reputable dealer that does this. Or find a guitar buddy or an instructor, hopefully you found one, to go with you or to look at the guitar um, and check it out before you purchase it or right after if there's a return period to make sure that there's no issues. So that's my uh, message to you on buying used gear. Buyer beware, take precautions. Uh, but there are some great deals to be had. And, you know, if you're ever inclined, check them out on our website. So you can go to Guitars for Acoustic or Electric. There's a used list. You can check out all the stuff that we have. And generally, we've got used stuff from beginners all the way up to professional guitars and even vintage stuff. So there's a handful of great guitars. If you're just starting out on your journey, you owe it to yourself to investigate these. Don't get so caught up in the specs. Try to understand what the guitars are made for and how they should probably apply to you and what you want to accomplish on the instrument. If you have any questions, go to our website, it's alamomusic.com. You can message us there, check out what we have in stock, as well as articles and other postings that we have. Feel free to call us, email us, come on in. We wanna help you find the right thing. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. Watch our videos, comment below, let us know what you think, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching our videos. If you enjoy what we're putting out, help support this channel uh, by going uh, down below and purchasing one of the t-shirts we've made for you. Uh, rock your support for one of the oldest music stores in Texas and the country and your love of guitar. Just purchase below, help support our videos, and go to our website, alamomusic.com, for more goodies that you can get. Thanks.